Albuquerque city leaders calling it a housing crisis. Nearly half of renters spending more than 30% of their income on housing. Right now, city councilors are discussing affordable solutions. One on the table are casitas, but some neighborhood associations have doubts. Believe me, neighborhoods are not against affordable housing. We want to participate and be able to communicate. Andres Valle joins us now live with how this can get done. Andres, what changes need to be made to make this an option? Uh, Doug Darlene, the proposed changes would mean this. Houses like the one right behind me would be allowed to build a casita. Uh, this would allow more people to occupy that property, an idea that had many restrictions before. So right now, approximately two thirds of, our, of the city uh, is zoned R1, where accessory dwelling units are not permitted or or are restricted in, in or prohibited. R1 zoning is a single family home, one detached house per lot, and those accessory dwelling units, also known as casitas, aren't allowed to be built on those type of properties. Now the mayor is pushing for that to change. There's no um, cap or limit on these. Um, we anticipate that it, because of the zoning restrictions and the cost of construction, that there will be sort of a slow um, uptick uh, in, in where these you know, start getting built and permitted. One neighborhood association is pushing to have more transparency when building additional housing in their communities. President Julie Drake asking to have her voice heard. It doesn't mean that a neighbor can stop you from putting in a casitas, but it means if they want to, they can come to the table and talk to you about that. Drake asking the city to make it a priority to be the mediators and give the final say if neighbors are having issues with proposed building permits. Neighbors are not against Changes are not against affordable housing. We want to participate and be able to communicate. And if passed, the city is still putting restrictions on casitas, like only allowing them in the backyard, also making them a max of 750 square feet. It also has to match the original structure of the home. Reporting Northeast Albuquerque, Andres Valle, KOET, Action 7 News. But the neighborhood association felt like there was not enough notice given about the changes.